Everett Simpson was ordered to be held on $2 million following his arraignment in Pennsylvania. The 41-year-old was arrested Sunday night in Upper Darby, Pennsylvania, after police say he crashed a car he stole while trying to outrun authorities. Front and main. Front and main. Subject down. He could have killed anybody. He could have killed anybody. The guy's an animal. I mean, it's pure and simple. No matter how you phrase it, the guy's an animal. He's in police custody. He's chained where he belongs. Investigators say 24 hours earlier, Simpson abducted a mother and her five-year-old son at the Mall of New Hampshire. According to the criminal complaint, the woman was getting into her car when Simpson elbowed her and pushed her into the passenger seat. Simpson told the victim he had escaped from rehab and that he was looking for his wife. The three continued on to Vermont. The woman said at one point Simpson tried to sexually assault her on the side of the road. During that time, the mother tried to get help from two joggers, but Simpson drove off. The court documents say she suggested going to a hotel because there would be security cameras there. The three eventually ended up in White River Junction, where authorities say Simpson sexually assaulted the woman in front of her child. He eventually left, stealing the victim's car, prompting a multi-state manhunt. It was great police work. It was a multi-jurisdictional thing and it worked out well. And now I spoke with Simpson's brother over the phone and he says the family was trying to get him help. Simpson will be brought back to Vermont where he will face federal kidnapping charges. Reporting live in Manchester, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.